Rale. Today I'm going to show you how I made this. My Green Goblin Raimi cosplay. And if you have not watched the video on how I made the helmet, here's a link right here. Now. The problem with making this is there is no behind the scenes footage at all about how they actually made the costume in the film, as this was before DVDs, so they couldn't really have any footage made. So I went on the Replica Pop Forum for research. If you don't know what the Replica Pop Forum is, it's a whole archive of how people created their own cosplays. And a few people made a Raimi Green Goblin costume. And they were asking how people went about making it. And I looked on the comments of one of the forum pieces. And someone who claimed to be from Studio ADI said that the way they made the costume is all the armour pieces were vacuum formed. And it was put onto a leather costume. Now, I don't have the facilities to create leather. So, I got a spandex costume and cut this into strips. This is a mermaid tail fabric which you could easily get from eBay and as you can see it's got very very similar look to the leather in the film. Now that's the basic gist of it. I cut strips on and put them on the back and put them on the legs. Now let's get on with how I made the rest of it. Right here is a very good example of how the back looked once all the strips were on. What I pretty much did so I knew where the strips would go is I put tracing paper on the back and drew where the strips would be. Then used the, that as templates so on the mermaid tail fabric and just cut them out and glued them on. Now the armour, I made it all out of EVA foam. If you're well averse with cosplay you'll know what that is. If you don't, it's pretty much gym mats. That's pretty much what EVA foam is. You can find it anywhere at any local store or you can get them off the internet like I did. And as you can see, that's the shoulders. And here are the arm pieces. The shoulders, I pretty much uh, did a template of my shoulder. If you don't know what that is, I'll have a link of Evil Ted's tutorial how to do that in the description. For the arms, they were a little bit different. I just measured my arm and had little indications of where the different foam bits would be. And then just sanded them down so then they look quite thin. The colour scheme I pretty much did the exact same as I did with my helmet. And of course if you haven't seen the helmet tutorial, I uh, coated it with some silver and lightly dusted it with some green. This gave it a nice metallic finish. Then the chest, I pretty much just measured my chest and just guessed how they would look. This is pretty much all guesswork as all, all the little strips, if one's a bit off it doesn't really matter because they're all quite small and as you can see here I pretty much matched the color scheme of the helmet pretty well so I was quite happy with that and then I went on to doing the rest of the arms and for that it was it had a rib texture on the leather suit so I just as you can see here I just got a load of puppy paint and just did multiple lines this took a very very long time and it's very tricky to get right <clears throat> And as you can see here, this is all of the arm pieces done. And I could, I had to do all of the foam pieces before I could glue them all on. So, because if I did a one wrong, then it would mess up. Now, what I said before is I cut the mermaid tail into strips. Now, with the torso, I did something a bit differently. I cut a whole big sheet and put velcro on it for the torso as you can see right here. I also glued the armour pieces onto it so then the reason I did this was so it was easier to put the whole costume on and if I got too hot I could easily just take it off. This was absolutely fantastic as it was so it just made the costume so much easier to wear, so much nicer to wear and it wasn't too hot at all. And as you can see here, this is what the torso looked like on the actual suit. Here's a little test fit, and I could tell you it was really, really easy to get on. I haven't done started the legs yet because I tried to pace myself as to do the, the front and the back of the torso first and then do the legs. 
And as you can see here, this is what it looked like with all the strips on. The armor for the legs was a little bit different. I actually wrapped my legs in duct tape and drew on all the little armor pieces. This is a lot more tedious than the arms as the leg armor pieces were quite different. And the knees, the knees were pretty much just measured my knees and then just guessed where they would go. This whole process was very, very tedious and took me a good half of two months. But I think, as you can see, it was well worth it. Now the gloves, I didn't make the gloves, they are pretty much airsoft gloves that I spray painted green. No. The very last thing to do was the neck. For the undersuit, I just got a snood and puff painted the lines very similar to how I did the arms, and then sculpted a neck seal out of clay, then moulded it and cast it out of latex. And this was quite restricting to wear, so with later versions of my Green Goblin, I decided not to wear it. And there we go! I hope you enjoyed this video on how I made my Green Goblin cosplay. If you would like to check out my other cosplays, here's a link to my Instagram. I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, I'm very, very sorry. <laughs>